Britain has become a fattest society, reinforced every day by images of stick-thin models whose shape bears no resemblance to the average British woman. But a provocative backlash is underway in the United States. Debbie Shannon, you're Miss Plus America 2000. Plus-sized beauty pageants for fat women celebrate flesh and curves. But is Britain ready to accept that fat can also be beautiful? One woman thinks so. Charlotte Coyle believes it's time for a change. She's agreed to organise a contest in the UK to challenge the notion that only skinny women can be attractive. I want people to stand up and take notice of what's going on in the world, that women that are a size 16, 18 and up, they're not abnormal. And this is why I agreed to do this, and this is why I want to do this. Show me your face. No! Charlotte will train up 12 novice beauty queens to prove that Big really can be beautiful. I want to be in a beauty contest. And I want to walk on that catwalk and feel proud. It's such an amazing feeling, and you feel nice for the first time. And now it's over, and I just want to feel nice like that all the time. We're back. Here we go. Size 18 model Charlotte Coyle is having some photographs taken for her portfolio. Like a lot of women, Charlotte hasn't always felt confident about her body. Everyone wants to be thin when they're younger. Um, but as you get older, you get more comfortable in yourself. I tortured myself for too long. Years. I used to always think, because I was naturally big, that I wasn't supposed to be happy or I wasn't allowed to be happy because I was bigger. And it's not true. Hold it. Convinced that women need to start accepting themselves for the size they are, Charlotte has agreed to try and stage Britain's first beauty contest for bigger women. My contest is going to prove to people that, um, you know, being curvy is as equally as beautiful as being really slim. You know, there should be no difference made. It's not like people are going to be like morbidly obese. It's about being curvy and having a nice body, so I want the, the world to become aware, more aware of the fact that the standard size in England is a size 16. Open your eyes, look around, this is normality. Charlotte's on her way to see her agent. She's modelled extensively in America and is hoping to pick up some work in London while organising her contest. Facially, mm -hmm. you photograph beautifully, and the bulk of the really good shots are facial shots. Mm -hmm. Now, exactly. this one here is fantastic, and it does show the body, mm -hmm. but it doesn't show the body in its entirety. Catwalk models in the UK are usually a size 8 or less, but even plus-size models like Charlotte can't be bigger than a size 16. So that takes us through to, say, 39 around I waist. Can't be that. I can't be. Let's just have a right. look at a hip there. And that takes us to 52. As an agent, we have to be as good of as course. what the marketplace demands. Of course. Now, at the moment, you are slightly bigger than a size 16. The more weight you have on, the less jobs that are likely mm -hmm. to be offered to you simply because you're going to not be the right fit. I'm always going to just be that. 16 to 18. I'm yes. always going to yeah. be it, no matter what happens. No, when I come, keep you 16. I shall be the happiest woman in Britain. Mm -hmm. You keep in touch with me. You yes. phone your measurements through to me every couple of weeks. We'll keep checking, keep checking, and every time you think you'll have something that you think will put the weight on, picture my face, and we'll just chunk it down slowly yeah. but surely. It's wrong telling me to lose weight because I know that what I do is good, and I know that I'm good at what I do. But this is the standard, this is the way things are at the moment. Hopefully the contest will change people's opinions. Not only for models in the industry, but for women in the street. You know, you don't have to be a size 14, a size 12 to be absolutely gorgeous or to be capable of loving a happy life. People think beyond a certain size that you're not, you're not allowed to be happy. And so hopefully that my contest will be able to change this view for women. Convinced there are thousands of women who feel the same way she does, Charlotte's placed adverts on the internet inviting big women to attend open auditions for her beauty contest. I've never done anything like this before, you know, like audition girls. I have a pretty good idea of what I want. 
I don't want to just judge people on just their physical. I want to judge them on their personality and confidence as well. Is there any girls going to show up? I hope there is. I hope there is. Um, so, but I don't know. I'm so blind to what's going on at the moment. You put the advert out and just hope for the best. Charlotte's adverts have sparked a stampede of bigger women and by 10am the waiting room is full of wannabe beauty queens. Charlotte's enlisted the help of her friend Emmett to audition the girls and has also roped in Ricky and Zoe to take charge of noting down their vital statistics. It's going really well. We're really busy, actually. Yeah, well, I've been extremely, extremely busy. I've got some gorgeous girls in here, though. Really pretty. Good plus size girls. Hello. Are you Angela? No, I'm Jodie. Oh, I've got oh, the wrong no. one. Come on, come on. Oh, sorry. I, I, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, you too. Nice to meet you, Jodie. Oh, thank you. Just want to make up. Don't, you're so sexy. Oh, thank you very much. No, I can you? breathe out. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to Wait, know. We'll just take our girdles off the yard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, have you ever wanted to do anything like this before? Um, I, I did, and I thought, oh, I sh and, and then I thought, hmm, I thought I was too kind of kind of big to do it. That was the main thing. And then when I saw this advert, I thought, oh, I'd definitely go for that. If you want to come back at 3.30, then? You look like you never want to leave now. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Oh, I'm oh, so petrified. Oh, no need, no need. She's a diva. She's a yes. <laughs> she definitely. So how do you feel about yourself, Paula? Fat. I used to hate myself. Um, I hated my body. I couldn't look in the mirror. I used to see it's just a monster looking at me. I was in a really bad relationship. It got to the point where he'd put me down all the time, you know, mm -hmm. you stupid fat mm -hmm. cow. <gasps> That ugly bitch and stuff like that. Oh my god, I think you're fantastic looking. Thank you. I really do. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Three hours in, and Charlotte's only managed to see 15 girls. With the waiting room full to bursting, she decides to start auditioning the contestants in groups. If you get three to the next stage and mm -hmm. then get three into the competition, you're going to have to walk in front of hundreds of people. I want to see you just straight to the back of the wall. And then give me a walk. I want to be in a beauty contest. It's about time I get to be on one. <laughs> Linda. Yes. Linda, why are you here today? Um, I'm here today because I'm proud of being a big girl. Nice. Fantastic, fantastic. I'm not invisible. Uh, hello? Duh, I'm not invisible. I'm tall, I'm ginger, I'm big. Sorry, was that a bit short? <laughs> I think you're fantastic. Bye. <laughs> Bye. We're going to go and stuff our faces now. <laughs> Charlotte might be happy, but Zoe, who's helping behind the scenes, thinks some of the girls are too thin. There's just a few girls in here that are not plus size. They're obviously not a plus size. And I think it's unfair to the people that are taking part, really, that the girls that are going through, they're obviously not a plus size. It's just not fair. It's just out of order, really. So why are you here, Miss Lauren? I am here because I have a womanly, curvaceous, healthy body, which generally most women should have. And when I was younger, I had an eating disorder, and that was, you know, also influenced of looking through magazines and seeing skinny girls. And I think that if to do something like this to make the difference of how I was when I was younger, to, you know, to have mm -hmm. someone with my figure to go, that's how we should be, and not try and be something that's impossible. You look amazing. Oh, Shiny diamond. <laughs> we go on out the front and we'll be out some of the, um, with the results. Sure. She is so A big amazing. Massive, yes. yes. I know she's that wee bit smaller, but she has big hips. But that girl has been more passionate than anyone Anyone's else. Nice. It's the end of the day, and Charlotte has the difficult task of reducing the 200 girls to a short list of 20. But Zoe's alarmed at some of her choices. Right, yes, 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 yes. She was only 19 because she had a bigger bum. Aye, but she's still only fact, five foot yeah. one. She's at 18, she's a big girl. But she's got big hips. What size is she? 
14 to 16 on top. And then she's a 14 to 16. She's got a perfectly flat stomach. You can come on. She's got, I saw her when she put a tampon on. She's got an almost flat ab. You can't say that's a plus size model. And this one as well, she's got a flat stomach. She's only But got she's a got bum. a big bum. What do you, what do you? Yeah, but she looks like Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Not this Gerd is a lot bigger than most models. There is yeah, a difference. She's quite tall though, I suppose. No, yeah. but she's bigger. It's different. I don't. I mean, it's up to you. It's your show. At the end of the day, you pick who you want. Yes. First of all, I'm going to call out people that are going through to the next round. Sandra. Oh. <laughs> and um, Zoe. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte stuck to her guns and included some of the thinner girls. Gemma Newell. <laughs> Julie Robinson. Okay. Thank you, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone is happy with the results. I feel disappointed and actually a little bit betrayed just because I think all the smaller women have gone through. I mean, I'm wasting my time really because it's not what I thought this was going to be about at the end of the day. I thought it was going to be bigger people and we're picking size 12 people. <laughs> it's just wrong. It's really wrong. Disappointed. Um, Don't feel represented. No. It's I'm, really... a, I'm, so, oh, I'm a size 22. You're about well, 22, 24. Yeah. And I don't think you're going to have our size girls in it. As the other girls leave, Zoe decides to confront Charlotte. You're putting forward models that are obviously 12 to 14. 12 to 14 is not plus size. Yeah, they're, they're in the middle. Yeah, they can't be supermodels and they can't be normal models, but they're not a plus size model. So you as an 18 to 20 model, putting these gorgeous girls, and they're going to be your next competition. They're the ones that you're going to be fighting for jobs. Well, you can see. Because you're now saying 12 to 14, plus size. You're too fat to be a normal model. But me, being 18 to 20, you're making yourself look even fatter by saying, well, well I'm, I'm 18 sorry, to 20. I'm actually quite offended the way you're speaking to me now. And I'm I'm actually hurt. I, don't I pull people on. from a size 14 to a size 32. Well, and I'm, I'm sorry that. that you feel this way, but you've really hurt my feelings to think that I didn't want you involved. No, but it's okay in to hurt my feelings. I didn't think I was hurting your feelings, and if I did, I tried to apologise, and you wouldn't accept the apology. Uh, no, that's not true. You know that's not true. If I didn't accept your policy, I just your said policy, you in the bottom of my heart, and you wouldn't let policy, me finish. Why did I carry on working? I can't. I'm, you're. I'm, I'm so stressed oh. out this week, so just leave it. Yeah.